it really is like Christmas in July and I'm gonna tell you why because July not only is my birthday month but it's also the Nordstrom anniversary sale which y'all know I love today I'm gonna to share with y'all some of my top picks this year from Amazon Prime days I get a lot of things from Amazon uh, all kinds of like family farm homeschooling beauty product things clothing like there's so much uh, that I love from Amazon <laughs> and I know lots of y'all do too. Prime Day starts today, the day you are watching this video. So I'm gonna share with y'all some of my top picks from Prime Day this year. If you don't have time to watch the video, don't wanna watch the whole video, I do have blog posts up. They are sort of sectioning things off into like tech and homeschool and baby and kids and home and that lifestyle beauty stuff different blog posts up on my website. If you wanna check those out, I will link them down below in the description box. If you just want to see what they are and you don't wanna sit through a video of me yakking, you can always do that. And of course, as always, I have my Amazon storefront and I try my best to keep that pretty updated, sharing with you guys what my favorites are right now from Amazon for homeschooling things, kid things, toddler things, toys, all that kind of stuff. Um, that's all already set up on my uh, Amazon storefront. So that will be linked down below as well. I do think, I said this in my Nordstrom video, but I'm gonna say it again in this one, that these are great opportunities to buy Christmas presents. If you are someone who plans ahead for Christmas um, and you are, I know other people are also already kind of thinking and shopping and planning for Christmas, this is a great time to get some really fantastic deals on certain items. There are some things that I feel like are better priced now than they are on like Black Friday deals and stuff. So I'm just gonna say that if you need to do a little Christmas shopping, but let's get into it and I'll share with y'all some of my picks. All right, so the big category to start with, I think uh, is the tech deals. There's a couple of really good things in Prime Day deals this year for tech. The first one is the Apple AirPod Pros. The noise canceling thing where you can't hear anything but what's coming through your AirPods is amazing so those are on a fantastic deal right now and then just some of the other little things that maybe you don't think about but that i own and love the paper shredder okay we need you need to be shredding things you need to be shredding things financial documents uh personal things private things medical stuff like i just i, sh I shred I shred all the things and I love my Amazon paper shredder. I also really love these little USB-C to USB uh, plug-ins. So I have Apple products, I have an Apple laptop. It's so annoying that they give you like two little ports and they're both USB-C, but nothing that you're ever plugging into the computer is actually USB-C. So I love these, they're just little individual uh, ports that turn a USB into a USB-C and allow you to plug it in. It's what I use for like my external mouse because I don't use an Apple mouse right now. I use a different one. I really love those. And then like the Kodak printer, super fun to be able to print photos and also the uh, computer screen, the external monitor. I am not gonna turn this to show you, but this is what I use. I have my laptop and then I have an HDMI cord to plug it into this monitor to make it like big so I can see when I'm editing videos and everything. And these are just some of the things, I'm gonna list everything in the description box. I just don't wanna talk about every single item and they'll all be linked on the blog post as well, but I'm just gonna kinda hit the highlights. Beauty deals, I am so tempted. There is a shark hair dryer that looks like it's kind of meant to be a dupe or competitor for the Dyson hair dryer. Um, and I love my Dyson hair dryer. I love it. But obviously the shark one is much less expensive and I'm very tempted. I'm, I'm tempted to buy it for myself just to try it and like review it for you guys. But if you've been wanting a Dyson but you don't wanna pay the price, definitely check this one out. Of course, the Laneige sleeping mask. This is a favorite. This is something I put in stockings. This would make a great stocking stuffer. I put this in stockings for my teens, something that I will include in just like a little gift for someone because it's such a good product. I love the Laneige sleeping mask. I have one in my nightstand, one in my purse and one in my car. Okay, that's how much I love them. The Sunday Riley CEO Glow. I know I shared this with y'all probably um, at the beginning of the year when I shared like my best of 2021. I am obsessed with this vitamin C serum. It's a like an oil, like a face oil vitamin C. I love it. I feel like my skin craves it. There's also the dry bar. So Revlon made this um, blow dry and curl product in one. I had it and I have to be honest with you, it got very, 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 very hot. This dry bar, dry bar is a fantastic brand. I like a lot of things from them, a lot of their products and they have come out with this blow dryer curling product in one. Uh, I feel like that would be super helpful, especially for getting like an at home blowout look. 
uh, without the time or money to go actually get a blowout from a hair salon. So I was really excited to see that on the beauty deals and also the Real Technique sponges. I love them. I do not ever buy beauty blender. Is that the beauty? I feel like I'm mucking up my words. Beauty blender brand beauty sponges because I feel like they're really overpriced considering that the Real Techniques ones work fantastic. I love them. I have multiples of them. Definitely worth buying on Prime Day. In the home deals, I'm super excited to see that once again, a record player. I feel like people are getting into the record players. I love them. I have one behind me in my cabin here. I have one in the house in like our little family playroom area, um, but records playing is one of my favorite like vibe things for the whole house. So I love seeing that on there. This green futon sofa, y'all, I think this is the exact same one that we have and I love this sofa. People ask about it all the time. I love this green velvet sofa. The color is perfection. Love it so much. And we don't have a guest room, so it serves as our guest bed because it's a futon. Also the Bissell, the little steam shot, I think is what it's called. Uh, the little handheld Bissell cleaner. This thing sells out constantly on Amazon, constantly. My friend Catherine from Do It On A Dime talked about this and every time she talks about it on her channel, it sells out. I purchased one because of her. I was influenced by her and they are fantastic cleaning. Tile grout, um, showers, all that kind of stuff. Definitely check that out if you haven't already. It is a cleaning fool. It's a cleaning fool. In the kitchen stuff, of course, I have to mention the air fryer. We love our air fryer. And I really thought as a big family, we wouldn't get much use out of it because I was like, well, we're just, I mean, there's, we have to make so much food. There's no way we'll be able to use the air fryer. But we got this one with the two drawers. Um, I can't remember. I think this is the exact one that we have, the Ninja. I feel like this is the exact one that we have. I love that you can cook two different things at the same time. I will be honest with you, my kids use this a ton. And of course you cannot go wrong with a Dutch oven. I have three Dutch ovens and those are what I use for making my homemade bread. I use a Dutch oven all the time. Um, they're really great for all kinds of things, but for me, they are my perfect quick bread. That's my like quick bread baking method. Um, and uh, I have a video on that. I'll link that down below if you wanna see it. But a Dutch oven is a fantastic thing to have and it's just fantastic for making homemade bread quickly. Of course, in the baby deals, sadly, I do not have a baby anymore. I do not currently have a baby, which makes me sad, but I've had lots of them, my baby children. I know what I like for a baby, and a couple of my favorite things are on the Prime Day deals, which are water wipes, duh, obviously, they're the best. I love them. They've just got like a tiny bit of like grapeseed oil extract in them that helps make them smooth and not dry out, but they don't have a bunch of chemicals and stuff in them that are gonna light your kid's butt up and make your kid have a red baboon butt. You know what I'm saying? So I like the water wipes, have always loved those. And then the scent me up, I loved this thing. So people, people feel differently about this particular baby item, but I really liked it, especially, especially with the twins. Because when you have two babies and you know babies, they get to this point where like they wanna see the world, they wanna be up and doing things. It's a lot of the reason why they want you to carry them around all the time, because they wanna be able to see everything. And so the sit me up kind of allows you to sit them up before they can actually sit up. It never impeded our children's ability to sit up on their own at a normal time frame. I'll just say that, but I loved it. I loved it and found it super helpful. So I'm really glad to see that on here. And then of course, anything by Baby Frida, okay? The nose sucker thing, I remember when that thing came out and people were horrified by it. I was one of those people, but over time you come to love and appreciate the nose sucker thing. It is amazing. It is amazing. So this is the baby basics kit. So it's got the nose Frida, the Windy. It's also got their like safety nail clipper set. And then also the, uh, what's it called? The skin soother. So like the, it helps with like cradle cap and like rough skin and stuff. So it's like their baby basics kit. I love anything by Frida Baby. I have really enjoyed all of their products over the years for my kids. So I'm very excited to see that on Prime Day as well. And they have a sound machine. Now this product I've never used, but I would use and I might buy it just in case I ever need it for a baby. <laughs> uh, don't tell my husband I said that, but just in case I ever need it for a baby, I might just go ahead and buy that sound machine because again, I love everything Frida Baby does and I see they have a sound machine and I'd like to try it. Okay, last category is homeschool stuff. I have a ton of homeschool stuff saved on my Amazon shop. It is a big, big portion of our homeschool items come from Amazon, whether it's supplies or books, or I mean, curriculum even sometimes, games, 
So much of our homeschooling stuff comes from Amazon. Um, and there's a few things in the Prime Day deals this year that I'm real excited about. Number one is the electric pencil sharpener. It brings joy to the hearts of children all over the world. It's truly their greatest joy is getting up and sharpening a pencil with an electric pencil sharpener. I get it, it's fun. Kids enjoy it a, a strange amount, a strange amount. The Mild Liner Highlighters, I love these. I discovered these years ago, I think back when I had like my Hobonichi Planner. Do you guys remember my Hobonichi Planner? Who's been around since the Hobonichi days? Um, I love my Hobonichi Planner. I don't use it anymore, but I loved it. And um, I loved these Mild Liner Highlighters because you know sometimes highlighters, they can be intense. There's a lot of pigmentation, the neon colors, it's a little much. And sometimes if you want things to look pretty or if maybe your brain just doesn't like the intensity of the traditional highlighters, these mild liners can be fantastic. They're also really great for Bible journaling, but they're great for note taking um, if your kids are at that age or if you're highlighting different things in your planner for homeschooling or whatever. I love the mild liners. This is a pretty decent sized pack of them by Zebra. Love them. I have a whole pack right over there. Love them and use them all the time. I'm also really, I'm, I love it, but I'm also upset about it. This chair, this office chair, I want it. I want it really bad. It looks super ergonomic and comfortable. I have, I just got a few months ago, this brown leather chair from Walmart and I love the chair, right? Like I, I love this chair. I don't have any complaints. But then I saw this chair and it's like, is the grass greener on the other side? I love, first of all, it's like a creamy color, right? It's not bright white, but it's like an off white color. And I just think that's really pretty. But it has like all the extra back cushiony things and I feel like I need it, but I don't need it because I have one. But if you guys get it, somebody get it and tell me if you love it because I want it. I want it now, daddy. I feel like Veruca Salt. I want it now. I want the chair now. I'm like love, but also bummed about that. Of course, with anything, I'm gonna put these portable USBs on here because there's all kinds of times in which you need to store things, save things, um, and external drives can be huge and large and too much, uh, but maybe you just need to transfer some things for your child if they're doing a co-op or a class or something else. You can really just never go wrong with USB, um, external portable USB drives. So those are on here. And then this is the kind of mouse that I have and I really like it. It's just got like a little USB thing that plugs into my laptop and then that makes it a wireless mouse that I can use on any computer I'm using. And that's what I like is because I do have multiple computers. And so I like being able to take the mouse and not have to have a different mouse for each one, if that makes sense. And it's also great for portability, if you will, for if your kids have laptops for school or you have multiple computers at home that you use for school, that's great too. And I cannot not mention the Papermate Flare pens. I love these. I have a shameful amount of them, a shameful amount of them. Every time I buy them on Amazon, it says, like it gives me the like, you last purchase, like remember you already bought these lady, why are you buying them again? And I'm like, because I, I want more. I want more. I use these um, not only in my own like planning. I'm not somebody that does a ton of like the drawing and a uh, bujo or like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't do all of that kind of stuff with planning, but particularly in like our homeschool planner and stuff, I use different color pens on different days. I like sometimes will draw in like a little corner box of that week. It's just, I don't know, it kind of makes it look pretty. I'll use a different color for each child, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, And I love the Papermate flare pens. I love them so much. Okay, last category is kid deals. I love puzzles. My kids love puzzles. Those are great. All kinds of skills that they're working on when they do puzzles. So I love puzzles. There's also just a really fun like Elmer's glue pack that's got all kinds of different glue products in there. You might, I mean, you know your kids, so maybe you want to stay away from that. But if you've got a separate space where you can keep it away from little hands um, and only use it when you want to, there's a lot of fun stuff in that pack that you will use throughout school anyway. So it's like practical but fun. And then the Melissa and Doug, like their little like kitchen fake food stuff. I am ordering this for the twins for their birthday. Uh, Ivy has like just gone off the deep end wanting like a play kitchen and play food stuff. This has come out of nowhere. She did not really play with this stuff when she was like two, three, but now she wants to. So that's gonna be part of her birthday present. So I'm gonna order that Melissa and Doug play food. I love all the Melissa and Doug toys and products. They hold up well. Um, they're really aesthetically pleasing, which sounds dumb, but you know, sometimes it's too much of the flashy, bright, obnoxious stuff. So 
Melissa and Doug doesn't do that, and I like that. There's also a really cool art set if you've got an art kid. It's like a 3D doodler. You'll have to look at it to see because I realize like abstractly that doesn't really make sense, but it kind of like allows your kids to like draw something and to create it, like turn it into like a 3D thing instead of just a drawing on paper. It's very interesting looking. I might get that as a Christmas present for one of my kids. That's it for this video. Those are my picks for Amazon Prime Day. Uh, they often add new things, so things have likely been added since I made this video. So again, I will try to keep my uh, blog updated as well as LTK. If I find other things, I will put them on my LTK page. Um, and then in the description box of this video is where you'll find the links as well if you want to see. But um, Amazon Prime Day is fun. If you need things, I mean, don't just buy things just to buy them, but if you need things, uh, it's a great time to grab some things uh, that are very practical that you need or that you've been wanting that are wish list items or even Christmas type gift items. It's a great time for that too. So that is it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you again very soon. I promise we're going to ease up like we've done the Nordstrom sale. We're doing Amazon Prime and we're going to go into some other, uh, you know, more traditional content. Uh, but I couldn't let these two really fantastic sales that I shop every year, I couldn't let them pass by without sharing with you guys my picks um, because you're probably going to end up seeing some of this stuff in a favorites video soon anyway. So that's it for me today, y'all. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, a great week, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.